Hello everyone, welcome back. It's TGR, that's Gaming Robbo. Today, we're going to be going through the top five centre-backs to have in your team on Championship Manager 94. So within this video, guys, as I mentioned, we're going to be running through the best top five centre-backs to have in your team on Championship Manager 94. Now, just before we do start, if any of you do like this video, please make sure you smash a like on the video. And of course, if any of you are new, please make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell as well. Because here at TGR, that's Gaming Robo, we give you the best videos to have, the best videos to watch. So you can see get videos like the best players to buy, the best tactics, the best formation, etc, etc on any of the football games that we're running through at the moment. And also, please make sure that you watch all of the video all the way until the end because we will be showing you the best five right backs to have on Championship Manager 94. So please make sure you give that video a watch at the end of this video. And of course, we also have the playlist for Championship Manager 94. So if you want to watch the whole playlist, click on that video link as well. Well, apart from that, guys, let's start the show. Let's see the best five centre-backs to have on Championship Manager 94. Des Walker. Now, we're starting off at fifth place with Des Walker. He's 28 years old, plays over at Sheffield Wednesday. And obviously, he is a sole centre-back on the game. Des Walker's got an illustrious career when he was playing back in the early 90s. But looking through his stats, as you can see, his stamina is 16, heading 17, pace 15, tackling 15, and he's got a withdrawn character. So you should you should be quite happy in knowing that you know he's not going to be one for these rash challenges on the game. But Des has ended up fifth on my top five list. Let's see who's coming at number four. Martin Keown. Now, Martin Keown, once again, you know, he's another person who's had an illustrious career when he was going back to playing in the early 90s and mid 90s. Now, he's 27 years old, playing over at Arsenal. Now, on here, it shows that he can play in defence and midfield, but only in the central role. But running through his stats here, you can see his influence is 15, stamina 16, heading 16, pace 17 and tackling 20 with a responsible character in mind. So... Even though it shows last season his disciplinary record was 25, with a responsible character, you you should be you should be a little bit more comforted in knowing that he's going to be a type of player who's not going to be also rushing it, rushing into challenges. You know, like Des Walker. You know, they, these two should be quite reserved when it comes to making the right tackles at the right time. But Martin Keown, he has come in at fourth place. Let's see who's come in at third. Steve Bruce. Now, Steve Bruce, you know, he, in my eyes, he is third in my eyes. Now, I know he's 33 years old and, of course, he's playing for Man United and it shows he only plays at centre-back. His stats don't really show much to be desired for. I mean, the main not notable ones really is heading being at 18 and tackling being 15. Obviously, once again, with a responsible character. But Steve Bruce, every time I, ha I, I manage a new game, I, I start a new game and I manage Man United, he seems to be one of the most sing single most outstanding defenders to have in the team. That's why it's really hard for me to try and get rid of him because I know that he's really good to have within a, a three-man central defensive team. But Steve has finished third. He's missed out on second spot. Let's see who's come in at second spot and has missed out on the top spot for my top five. Steve Potts. Now, Steve Potts, I, I think he's a phenomenal central defender and one that you've seen on one of the other earlier videos where I've done the best formations shows you he's in my start and lineup. That he's brilliant. Simply, he is brilliant on the game. Now, he's 26 years old, playing over at West Ham. He can play in both defence and in midfield. And he can play on both right and central sides. Now, Steve Potts running through his statistics, a bit like Brucey, doesn't really show much to be desired for. But, I mean, the, the main notable one, obviously, is tackling being at 20. One of the first defenders I've come across that using this list that's had a tackling with a rating of 20 out of 20. 
and his character is thoughtful as well. Now he, 99.9% of the time, he's one of these guys that does not go into for rush challenges and does not get sent off. He's been sent off once for me before, so that's why I say 99.9% .9 of the time, because he has been sent off once for me before, and that was in the third minute, and he didn't even get a rating, because it was before the five minutes, of course, where they start rating players. But Steve has come in at second spot in my top five centre-back list. So let's see who's coming in first, and who is, in my eyes, the best centre-back to have on Championship Manager 94. Paul Warhurst. I don't think anyone, there may be a few people, of course, but I don't think many people will be complaining that I've rated Paul Warhurst probably one of the best centre-backs on the game. He's 24 years old, playing over at Blackburn Rovers. He can play in defence, midfield, and he can play up front, obviously only in the central role. Now, looking through his stats, you know, he's got stamina of 19, pace 18, Tackling at 18, his character itself is confident. When that's someone that you do need in the heart of your defence, you need someone who's confident. You know, so then it, hopefully it will be able to bring up the rest of your players to obviously play in the same sort of frame of mind as Paul Warhurst wants to play, of course. But like I said, Paul Warhurst, in my eyes, is without a shadow of a doubt one of the best centre backs to have on Championship Manager 94. Well, that is it for the top five centre-backs on Championship Manager 94, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, make sure you smash a like on the video. And, of course, if any of you beautiful people are new, please make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell as well so you know when our latest video has been uploaded to the channel. And as I mentioned to you at the beginning of this video, we will be taking you back to the next video, which is the top five right-backs to have on Championship Manager 94 so please make sure you stay to the last point where you'll see the video link and click on that or you can also click on the playlist of the Championship Manager 94 videos that we have so if you want to watch them all together fantastic click on the link that will be coming up very shortly well apart from that guys thanks very much for your time I hope each and every one of you has enjoyed the videos here at TGR that's gaming Robbo